Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel Easy Dental by Dr. Asmat. So let us today discuss about the endomotor. So the one which I am having is Xmart endomotor from Densply company. Okay, so first let us discuss about the parts of the endomotor. So this thing is the control unit and this part it is the handpiece. This one is the handpiece stand. So this is the handpiece. And this part, this, this part is the contra-angle. And here, your file is there. Okay, you can see we have inserted a file. So, we'll keep it back here. Okay, now this is the power button. So, you have to press it and hold on for a second. And your endomotor will be uh, powered on. Similarly, if you want to close it, then you have to press it and hold on for a second and it will turn off. Okay, so let us start it. Okay, now you have, you can see that this is the control unit and this is the operational panel. And this one is the LCD panel. Okay, so this is the control unit. This is the operational panel. This is the LCD panel. This is your handpiece this is your contra angle this one is your contra angle this is your file and this is your handpiece stand okay now the thing you can see here that your handpiece it is connected at this point okay you have to connect your handpiece at this point then this one is the foot pedal connector and this one is the AC charging uh, adapt, uh, I mean the charging point, okay, charging connector. Okay, now you can see that something is written over the LCD panel. You can see there is speed, there is torque, there is gear ratio, program and few symbols are there. I'll explain you what all these symbols mean. So first let us discuss about the speed. Speed and torque, these things are the uh, most important thing about the endomotor. Got it? So if we talk about speed and torque, uh, what happened is, first let us discuss what is torque. So torque is the force with which the file moves within the canal. Okay? The force with which your file moves within the canal. The driving force of the file is the torque. Right? Now, there are two things. You can keep your torque low, you can keep your torque high. Similarly, you can keep your speed low, you can keep your speed high. Now, in this endomotor, the speed, it ranges from 120 to 800 rotations per minute. Okay? And torque, torque is also, it ranges, the maximum torque is uh, like around 5.2 and the minimum one let us see it goes from 0 0.6 0 0.6 to 5.2 i guess mm, let us see yeah 5.2 okay and speed ranges from 120 to 800 so you can adjust your speed you can adjust your torque according to the file system which you are using okay now suppose your torque is very low what will happen Agar aapka torque kam hai, then the, uh, the ability with which your file rotates in the canal, it will also be very less. Okay. And the penetration power of the file within the canal will also be very less. Now what will happen? In situation mein, what you will do? Suppose you are inserting your file within the canal. Okay. And your file, you can see it is not penetrating. Up, try karo, but it's not penetrating. Why? Because the torque is very low. Then what will happen? Uh, unknowingly also, you can do, what you'll do is you will push your file within the canal. You will exert a pical pressure. And as a kartehi, your file will separate within the canal. So this is the disadvantage of low power and low torque. Okay. Ki if torque will be less, then the cutting efficiency of the file will be very less. And the penetrating power of the file will be very less. And uh, if you exert external force or external pressure, what will happen? Your file will fracture within the canal. And if you keep your torque very high, 
then obviously your cutting efficiency will be very good your or your file will cut dentin very rapidly but there are more chances or more incidences of procedural errors like file separation or um, transportation or perforation any of these things can happen okay so dono hi cheeze they are not good okay zyada kam torque is also not good and high torque is also not good so there should always be a balance and similarly same is the thing with speed also if your speed is less your cutting efficiency will be less and if your speed is more then there are more chances of file fracture what happens in severely curved canals suppose uh, you get a molar okay and the canal is very curved so in that case what happens bahut zyada binding hoti hai your file will bind at some point and if you are keeping your torque very high then what will happen suddenly as soon as your file binds within the canal your file will fracture okay and therefore the manufacturers they have invented a lot of endomotors with low torque control okay so here also this endomotor is also uh, like you can set your torque whatever torque you want and it basically depends on your um the file system which you are using suppose with me i am always using pro taper gold files so for pro taper gold files the speed which uh, has been recommended by the manufacturer uh, manufacturer is 300 rpm okay i always keep my speed at 300 rpm and the torque it depends on the file suppose for sx and s1 the shaping files the torque is set at 5 around 5 okay for s2 and f1 the torque is around 1.5 newton centimeter and for f2 f3 f4 it is around 3 okay so you can see it when whenever you are uh, using your pro taper gold files or any files you will see that over the top the manufacturer's instruction has been written at what speed you should use it at what torque you should use it okay so the the cutting ability the cutting efficiency is always a balance between the speed and torque okay speed and torque ko hamesha ek balance mein use karna hai na hi bahut zyada torque use karna hai ya speed use karni hai na hi aapko kam torque aur speed use karni hai so for every file the speed has been mentioned you can use that okay so the next thing is the gear ratio here you can see it has been written as 16 is to 1 Similarly, on your handpiece also, you can see यहाँ पे लिखा हुआ है it is sixteen is to one. So this handpiece it will uh, be used in the gear ratio of sixteen is to one also. Okay, you can also change your gear. Here is the gear option. You can also change it, but it depends on what handpiece you're using and at what gear ratio your handpiece is working. So this handpiece is working at a gear ratio of sixteen is to one. Okay now the next thing is program you can see here is your program okay now what is program and what is this button memo memo is memorize you can set your speed you can set your torque you can set all your functions and then you can press memorize okay so it will be memorized as a program it will be memorized as a program you can set your program number 1 2 3 4 for different file systems or for different files you can set it got it about the program and the memo you know about the gear now this thing is the reverse you see your reverse button so if you press it see here the motion will be changed okay earlier if you press it your file is moving in forward rotation okay f you can see forward again if you press it it will change into a reverse rotation okay your file's motion or the file's direction will change so you can either use your file in reverse forward motion or you can use it in reverse motion so usually forward motion now the next thing you can see here is auto reverse here also one button is there auto reverse now if you press this button this means that your auto reverse function is off if you'll press it if this thing comes that means you it this symbol is auto reverse with stop if your file binds within your canal what it will do it will suddenly stop itself it will reverse the motion and it will stop and this thing is there if if this symbol is 
uh, is there on your LCD panel, then that means it is auto reverse and your file will start moving. Suddenly, if your file binds somewhere, it will, uh, and earlier if it was rotating in a forward rotation, it will change its direction and it will start rotating in the reverse direction and file will come out. Okay? So, and here is how your file works. You, you can see this button over here. You will press it and your file will start moving. See. Now, uh, right now it is moving in reverse, uh, for, sorry, forward direction. You will, again you will press it. It will stop moving. Okay. See. I will press it. It will start rotating. And I'll press it again, it will stop rotating. Okay. Okay. Now you will discussed about this symbol that is the reverse and forward rotation, that is the auto reverse function. Now here is the alarm. The symbol is for the alarm. If you will exceed your speed and torque, uh, and whenever when you are using your file and you exceed the torque or speed limit, this alarm will beep. This is the symbol for charging, battery percentage it's showing. Okay, so I think we have covered everything about this control panel, control unit and the, this is how your file works. This button, again press it, your file will stop moving. Okay, in the next video, we'll be discussing about the mechanics or the mechanism with which the endomotor works. Okay, how you can do your rotary endodontics using an endomotor. So stay tuned and uh, next video we'll make about the rotary endodontics and usually it will be for the beginners and later on we'll move it to advanced. Okay, so if you like my content, I'll request you please like and subscribe my channel and uh, share it among your friends. Bye. Thank you.